So uh, I just thought I'd take a moment and uh, just share some thoughts about today. I was thinking a lot about responsibility, accountability, and uh, funny enough, uh, there was a post from a, a little bit ago that that uh, came up on my Facebook uh, page because um, I had posted about how I thought it was interesting that this one lady, uh, <clears throat> Tommy Lauren from The Blaze, had had said, you know, she's for the Constitution. She's very uh, conservative in those ways, but she still thinks that you know abortion is allowable because, as she said, that you know she doesn't like the government being in you know my business and stuff. So how can I say that the government is it's okay for the government to be in other people's businesses? And I thought that was kind of shocking, as as did a lot of other people. Uh, and funny enough, as I had posted about how you know America really needs responsibility, accountability, and how important those things are, uh, that same post from days past about uh, Tommy Lauren and uh, abortion came up because someone uh, responded to it, and um, and we and I'd already responded to that person, but today they started responding back several more times and started going back and forth, and and these are some thoughts I wanted to share about about abortion, and, the, and these and these are my thoughts: is that uh, abortion is immoral, not only immoral, it should be illegal. Why? Because it is the murder of babies, and uh, as as someone, uh, this person had posted on my on my Facebook page. Uh, let me let me just read to you what, what they had said. Uh, restrictions on what medical procedures can uh, one can undergo is a ve- is very big government. So of course you want government out of it because uh, if government gets involved in what you can do medically, then well that's 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 way too much involvement. And it, it's that's not true though because government one of the very few I, I do agree that government is often too involved it's too big it's, over, it's over bloated but one of the very few but very important roles that the government has is to make sure that we are protected that we are safe from murder from someone killing us so when it comes to abortion yeah people do the government should be involved in it to stop the murder of babies a person is a person no matter how small, right? That's a very common sort of phrase people people use, but that's very it's very true. Uh, we are human beings at, at all times. He said, he said um, you know, if we are talking legally, not morally, fetuses aren't people. The Supreme Courts have ruled that way on several occasions, even with a conservative majority. If it is a moral wrong, then shouldn't it be prevented rather than outlawed? Change the culture, support programs that actually prevent unwanted pregnancy, and we will see abortion continue to wane without government telling women what to do with their bodies. Uh, you know, we're talking legally, not morally. And what I told them is all laws are based on morality, based on moral reasoning. Now, you can't create laws out of every sort of moral uh, moral conception that's just impossible and ridiculous. However, there are some uh, basic moral uh, moral reasonings, moral logic that laws are based on, and, and one of those happens to be murder. Like, we don't, we believe it is morally wrong to murder, so... Uh, abortion still falls under that category and it continues continues to talk uh well actually i i i just have to add that um science also backs up this this moral concept that, that it's murder and here's why he called it a fetus and he's saying a fetus isn't, isn't a human being except science clearly distinguishes the fact that babies and mothers when the baby's in the womb the baby is not the mother's body because he said it, the government you know telling people what to do a woman what to do with their body their body and the baby's body, not the same thing. Yes, the mother houses the baby, but they are completely different. Science even proves that they are very different human beings. If not, there wouldn't be so many different complications out there, including uh, women having to take uh, shots because the baby's blood uh, is potentially different than the mother's blood, which can cause all sorts of problems there. there that wouldn't exist because it'd all be the same person. Now, if you say that fetus isn't a human being, well, and it's just the human, the woman's body. Then, then you have to concede with the fact that the woman, when she's pregnant, that the pregnancy is actually more like an infection, a virus, or whatever you want to call it, because it, it's not a human being, and it's still their body. So that means the government really should be helping people to to provide them with things that can kill this virus, the, this horrible infection going on, known as pregnancy, to to stop it from happening. Because it's the woman's body. We need to protect the woman from having those sort of things happen. And the government, if it does that, it systematically can, it kills the entire human race. So you end up with the problem of, oh, great, there's no more human beings. And, and last part is that uh, when it comes to when it comes to you know science and the government, it, the fact science proves that human being human beings are human beings based on their DNA, based on what they are genetically made up of. It doesn't matter how big, how small, what their capabilities are; they're still human being. 
but to call a fetus not a human being just because it can't speak, it can't survive literally without an umbilical cord or, or anything else, that's ludicrous because then you you end up on these fascistic sort of uh, uh, platforms that say that you can do with anyone who isn't normally like you because that's, that's trying to judge people as human beings based on what the majority of other human beings are like. The majority of other human beings are adults. So if a person isn't like an adult, and that's and that's a ton of people from from uh, a fetus to a baby to little sh little kids they can't do what a adults can do so therefore you can you can still kill them because they're still not human beings but the fact is we don't we don't determine we don't define human beings based on what they can do deaf people mute people mentally handicapped people and old people who lose their abilities they would all be disposable expendable everything because they're no longer human beings but that's not true because human beings are scientifically defined by their genetic makeup, not by their abilities. So abortion is still wrong. It's, it's still murder. And we're not even trying to bring up the, the very rare cases of, of incest uh, and, and other, other stuff. In general, abortion is used for the convenience of escaping responsibility. That's why I said I find it very interesting that these posts came up and I had posted about responsibility, accountability, and how we need that in America. And that is because abortion is used as a way for people to avoid the responsibility of, of being responsible for their actions. It's not a mystery that uh, if you have sex, you can, you can get pregnant. And thing is, it's not, and it's also not a mystery that the woman is going to be the one that's going to carry the baby inside of her. So, if you want to escape that that responsibility for making a dumb choice or whatever, then yeah, a, a abortion sounds like a good option. Murder apparently sounds like a really good option because then you don't have to worry about it. But really, instead of focusing on rights, you know, the woman's right, because honestly, the woman's right and the baby's right are equal because they're both human beings. Instead of focusing on rights, you should focus on responsibilities. What is a woman's responsibility now that she has chose to make action, to take actions that have made her become pregnant? And the same with the husband, or not even if it's not a husband, the man who participated in that event and allowed that person, uh, the baby, to be conceived. He's also very responsible. So instead of worrying about rights and dehumanizing human beings, focus on responsibilities and what should be done.